Hi, this is Susan Bird from Speak Languages and Travel the World. Today I'd like to teach you how to get students to create sentences without using any complicated words and uh, just mixing pictures around. So here we have what I call a Velcro board because it's Velcro and some pictures which students themselves drew. And uh, so with these pictures, we now get to create sentences. So here the first sentence that a student created was a man uh, goes to the football match by bike or he rides his bike to the football match. Then we have a group of children or people ride their bike home to watch the football match on TV or they go home by bike to watch the football match on TV. Um, boy and a girl ride their bikes and go on a picnic or a girl and a boy go on a picnic by bike. Then we have a girl and a boy go to school by bus or a boy and a, a girl and a boy catch the bus to school. Here we have a girl, the car has moved, a girl goes to the beach by car, or she drives the car to the beach, or she goes on holiday to the beach by car. They go to school by bus, or they catch the bus to school. Um, I'm not sure what they meant with the baker here, because um, this is actually the swimming pool. Maybe afterwards they uh, buy some bread at the baker's before going to the swimming pool. A girl goes home on foot, or a girl walks home. Now, here we have a boy goes to the tennis match by car, or he drives the car to the tennis court. Um, uh, a, a boy or a man goes home by bus to play the guitar, or he catches the bus to go home and play the guitar. Now, what happens here? This is another guitar. It's just drawn by someone else. They uh, go uh, to their guitar lesson on foot, or they walk to their guitar lesson. She flies to school. Now, of course, children love using their imagination, so um, that's why it's very nice to play with these pictures. One doesn't have to do realistic stories. One can also invent, as long as one's using the same vocabulary uh, to uh, consolidate it. So she flies to school, or she goes to school by plane. Uh, she, mm, ah, she watches TV on foot. Probably she goes to watch TV on foot. Uh, someone forgot a building here. Okay, the butcher <laughs> flies to see the tennis match or the butcher goes to see the tennis match by plane maybe it's on the other side of the world whilst the baker makes dinner or the baker has dinner um, there's a solitary man here that someone didn't know what to do with Okay, so these are just some examples of how you can incentivate children and adults. Let me show you the other ones. Here we are. To um, create easy, simple sentences with pictures. 
uh, this stops uh, people from umming and eyeing and not knowing what to say. They have a series of pictures. They can combine them into imag imaginary or serious um, combinations and then tell us what they've written, so to speak. So they are actually creating the sentence visually and then speaking rather than writing. And speaking is a skill that isn't ever practiced enough. So this is uh, done to incentivate speaking. So, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see any more of these kind of videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or uh, also to my website, my blog page, for more uh, teaching and learning tips. Okay, that's all then. Bye for now. Bye.